Engineering Eng. PDF document of this video is on engineereng.com. Hello guys. With this video, I wanted to start this series, namely the MATLAB series, in order to give you a level of MATLAB knowledge that will form the basis. In this lesson, we will first give an introduction. What is MATLAB? What does it do? What can be done? Regarding this, there will be some areas where you will use this program as a basis in engineering. Because it's a very important program, especially for graphical operations. Of course, in more advanced levels, there is a part where simulations called simulink can be modeled. This is also a very used thing. Uh, frankly, if you ask me if I use it, I have never used it, but I used MATLAB a lot. Especially in the part of plotting a theoretical formula written in a graphical manner in my own studies, for example, the polar graph on an antenna, how much and in which direction the antenna emits, etc. are able to get on the card. As I said before, it can be used in many areas, especially signal, digital signal, processing, antenna. You will need many other graphs, your own work, etc. MATLAB is quite used or you use another simulation program in that simulation program different variables for certain values. What is the logic of the graph? A situation that produces an output for certain input values. When we get an output for values that take many inputs, we want to graph it. Many other simulation programs also output 90%, perhaps almost all of them to MATLAB because it is desired to be used in MATLAB. Because when we want to graph them, the most important program we should use is MATLAB. Now, what does MATLAB stand for here? It is called Matrix Laboratory. The abbreviation of this is MATLAB, MATLAB, which reads MATLAB. I'm used to it as MATLAB. So frankly, don't get caught up in this. The important thing is to take a look at how we can use and use this program. Now, for example, when you open this program, basically such a screen comes up. In the future, we use the part we call writing to file more in the part we call script. In effect, we almost always use it. In this region, we usually do those quick operations here after we give the order here which we call come on come on to window that we call come on come on to window assign this and that do this and that there are specific comments in all of this i will try to give you the level you need that is the basis this is a great scientific calculator if you first wish in fact this is the shortest version of this let's use the calculator function first s it's a great scientific calculator if you wish let's start the processes as follows we can start by assigning variables and then use these variables there are different parts of all parts here as much as we need but it's useful to focus on the places we need as much as possible if we need it everything comes out because of the need we will see what else can be done later so i want to add as many other features new things come to mind for example for example there are many formulas ready-made formulas these are some kind of functions ready-made functions are quite a lot in matlab using class classical specific formulas without having to write long and long calculations i can easily say this use help a lot of this program using help you can find many things you are looking for one of the most used parts is the help part of matlab right now i run help i'm waiting for it to open i hope it will open right now there are many basal functions 
related to every feature you are looking for in the help part. For example, the Bessel function in antenna. When you need one of these many Bessel J, Bessel A, Y, R, all separately, for example, here's how to use the Bessel functions. You know, there are thousands of formula like this maybe here. As I said, what do you need? You can easily access whatever you need from the help section. Even if you don't know, you can learn from the examples written there. How you can use it. Let's start with the simplest basic calculator operations. For example, for example, you say x equals to 3 and throw away. Now, when I press enter, here on the right and workspace, it immediately appears as the value to which the following variables are assigned. You can see which variables you have assigned from here. For example, let's take y as 2. When you press equals, now I see that x equals 3 and y equals 2 are assigned as variables in workspace on the right. Now that the x and y's are obvious here, you can use them as you want on the right. Now that the x and y's are clear here, you can use them as you wish on the right side. So how can you use it? For example, you can say minus plus y and see the results like 5. Then you can say uh, x times y. You can say x times y. Then let's say x uh, slash 2, more especially x uh, slash y. This is how you can see it comes from uh, 3 slash 2, uh, 1.5. This is one of the most basic parts. In the future, we will have to put an end uh, to this division and multiplication. When do we put the point and so on? These do not uh, concern us at the moment. I will not mention this in our basic first introduction video. I will try to mention later. Now, for example, what else can I show you? You can assign many variables here. For example, when you say Z equals and assign a new variable, you get a new variable Z when you say X plus Y. But let's say one of the most important thing in MATLAB when writing an equation equation. For example, t equals z plus f. You can find uh, t right now, guys, because the main reason why you can find t in MATLAB must always be equal to a number on the right-hand side of the equality. For example, we will get an error because f is not defined here. The program will tell us f is not a defined function. See, it says undefined function or variable f. So this function says you haven't defined the variable before or. But for example, if I assign the value f equals to 4 to the same question, then I pressed up the up and down arrows on your keyboard to call an equation you wrote earlier. Look after pressing up. It shows me all the values I entered before. I'm taking that t back here and I just couldn't find. Look. This time he will lose me because I just look here and z is 5 and I just assign the value 4 to f here. So it automatically gives me the value of z plus f equals to 9 in this way. So here you had to do many formulas or variable assignments and any division, for example any number, you had to divide it at, the, at that moment. You can also use this as a normal classic calculator. We found such a result. So what does such a result mean when it is ready? Let's talk about it. Here, friends, means E means over 10. Let's show it to you like this. In this region, if, if something says 3E9 in MATLAB, it means this. There is a multiplication of the previous one that makes the E where you see it. You write 10 instead of E and you write the one next to e on it so this means 3 multiplication 10 to the ninth so what was the result we found here let's not write 1.24 times uh, 67 for example i say 1.24 e04 let's talk about it right now where's reddit let me write that too don't get confused what the guys write there says e.04 uh, it means plus uh, 04 will get plus 1 plus uh, 4.1.2467 uh, times this multiplication comes in between and i write 10 where i see e and the value to write of e is plus 0 0.4 so this result is equal to 1.24 times 10 to the 4 for example 
Friends, was uh, for this intro video. I think these are enough. We will do different things in the future and also with this new 2016. I'm currently using 2016 Alpha. By the way, we have many applications here. With 2016, there are many interfaces that you can use quite easily. You can comfortably change these interfaces only within the variables and make the desired action. Friends, I don't want most of them either, but I write the MATLAB immediately when I need it. And I believe I can find the help I need somehow. This is how MATLAB is actually used. We carry out our process by finding what you need from help or from the applications here. As I said, 2016 offers us many new interfaces, new simulation ready graphical designs. That's why I recommend the 2006 frankly. How is MATLAB installed? Unfortunately, I cannot explain this because as a result, there may be a copyright issues and so on. I try to explain it directly from here. So for now, I don't want to add any more to the entry. There are enough guys how to draw graphics in the future. How do we actually use it, use it in this file we call script? I will always try to do it here from now on, from now on, because script is getting more compact. You can do whatever you want through the change. For example, here to make a change, I need to call a look or something, I will change it. For example, to make a change, I have to call for a look or something. It's very difficult for me to keep in mind in the change I will make. Or I have to constantly follow the variables from here to see what value it gets. Therefore, from the next video, let's show one of them on script with the required specific codes. For example, as we have written here, uh, when y is equal to 2, if you want to clear the screen, you say CLC, and if you want to clear all the variables on the right, type in clear all will no longer leave any variables in the middle. I have to discard x, y, and so on. Thanks for listening. Hope to come across another uh, new MATLAB video.